In the dark, shadowed corners of time, many stories have taken root and blossomed. Tales of heroes whose deeds echoed through the ages, and of villains whose names became synonymous with infamy. Of battles waged between the forces of light and shadow. On a quest that defies reason, a lone ship ventures into that abyss, guided by its bold and courageous captain, his ferocious feline companion, and a crew of outcasts and misfits. Across entire worlds, dimensions, through the darkest depths of space, and beyond the limits of known time, in pursuit of the ultimate power of the Quad. These are the adventures of the Starship Dragon. Everybody put your hands in the air and say, holy shit. Welcome aboard to Starship Dragon, everybody. I am Commander Krim. Glad to have you here on this Sunday afternoon. Hello, Part. Hello, Part 2. Good to see you over there in the chat. Welcome in, everybody. <sighs> I know I'm running a little late. I was watching a movie that I actually got kind of engrossed in, uh, and uh, I, I, I didn't realize I I'd actually lost track of time. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I meant to actually do this before we had the intro video, but I forgot about doing that. Um, I need to I need to go over something real quick that uh, I feel needs to be said. Um, uh, it's going to be something that I could change my mind on later, but uh, for uh, for now. I'm going to stick with this, but uh, with extreme ex special exceptions, so I'm not going to say zero tolerance, with extreme special exceptions, I will no longer be doing streams with other people. Um, I won't be playing anything on stream with any, with other people, with the exception of Bimo Kimono, uh, and maybe occasionally another, any other special uh, under special circumstances you know I, I like I said I could change my mind later on that but for now I'm just gonna say basically it's gonna be BMO and that's it um, and the reason for this is it's selfish I'm gonna be the first one to admit it it is a selfish reason it is completely uh, narcissistic and all self-serving. I'm completely aware of it, so I'm already aware. I'm already self-aware of what this what this is going to entail. But I am tired of trying to coordinate a 
stream or a game to play with somebody and they had to back out after a short time because of their life circumstances. First of all, let me say, I understand that not everybody is like me. Not everybody has a ton of time in the world with no obligations. I am very aware that I mean nothing to anybody. I'm not important to anybody. I'm not anybody's family. I'm not anybody's relationship. I understand that nobody that I ask or that chooses to play something with me has any obligation to me at all. So I get that I am not a priority. If they have a family, if they have a, a, a relationship, if they have other priorities, other obligations, I understand those are going to come before me. So if we're in the middle of playing something and something comes up and they need to leave, that's just going to happen. That's just something i got to accept. However, as far as my own mindset and as far as me trying to come up with a rather consistent content for the show, for the stream, it's extremely inconvenient that those kind of things happen. And so it's just better off for me that I just say no streaming with anybody anymore. Again, with the exception of Bimo. The reason, I, the reason I'm giving Bimo a pass is because she and I have known each other for four years, almost consistently for four years, never really... Have it, we never really stopped talking at any point for any reason. Uh, anytime she does play with me, she usually, for the most part, gives me priority. You know, which you know is surprising to me because, like I said, she's got a husband, she's got other priorities. There's been times when she's told her husband, "I've already got plans to do something with the, with Krim," and you know, so that's awesome. That's why I'm giving her a special a special a special dispensation, but for the foreseeable future and for as far as I am in the mood to make it that way I will either be doing solo games only or games with her games that I've been wanting to play co-op with people are going to just end up being solo games for me again with a few exceptions that I can play with Bimo because she's got access to some of those games but I'm not going to do it anymore I, I am really tired of committing my time, my effort, my brain power to having a game ready for, to play with somebody on stream and playing for a short time and then they've got to split because, on, and I don't mean like planned splits, I mean like last second all of a sudden they've got to go, they got to leave, just out of the blue and that's, that's not going to work for me. I, again, I know, very selfish, very self-serving, very narcissistic of me to say, but that's how I'm going to run this stream from now on. It's easier on me for, to do it that way. And I'm sorry to anybody who, is hurt, who may be hurt by those words. Anybody who has streamed with me in the past or wanted to stream with me in the future, I'm sorry if that hurts your feelings, if that makes you upset, but that's just how I'm going to do it because I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Again, I understand that nobody, whether people that I knew or, or people that I could possibly know, it is extremely unlikely I'm going to find anybody who has the same level of dedication to what I'm doing here, playing video games on stream, as I do. Everybody's got family. Everybody's got obligations. Everybody's got work obligations. You know, whatever. Work is the only, work is the only obligation that is understanding to me because I have a job and I know that I have to have that job in order to live. But family and, and relationships and all that other shit, I don't, I don't got it. I don't have that. So that, that's going to be it. You know, I, I get that people have priorities and I'm not one of them. I understand that. But it is definitely detrimental, especially after yesterday. I had planned to play Halo Reach for... At a good long while with Jose. This is not me taking a shot at Jose. This is not taking a shot at anybody. This is just me using it as an example of why I'm not doing this anymore. We were pl I planned to play Halo Reach for a good long while yesterday. And then out of the blue, his family says they want him for something and he had to go. And then I'm sitting here wondering, okay, well, what do I want to do now? 
is I didn't, I, I had nothing ready because I was expecting to play Halo all day. Something similar happened a few weeks back with somebody when we were trying to play, what was it? I think it might have been First Descendant. I forget, but it was somebody, I was trying to play with somebody else, like I think maybe a month ago or something, and their family situation came up and they had to go. Again, I'm not upset with them for that. I, I get they have to do, they, they have their priorities, and I'm not that priority. I completely get that. But it does not fit my content style. I need consistency. That's how my brain works, is consistency. And when I plan for a consistent, a consistent amount of time, and that gets interrupted because family has to come first, as much as I hate that fucking word, it throws me off. It throws me off. So I apologize for yesterday's outbursts. I had a couple of them yesterday. I apologize for having to make this statement now and for making this declaration now. Again, I might change my mind in the future and may, under special circumstances, let somebody join me for a stream. But for as of this moment, it's going to be me by myself or me and BMO, and that's it. And I'm going to wrap that up there because I've, I've talked for too long already about it. Hello, Paul. Pertu, understandable. Thank you, Pertu. I appreciate you understanding. We got robots over here. Or robots over here. Robots over here. Yeah, we're playing uh, we're playing Front Mission first today, by the way, as you can see right there. Um, I don't really know much about this game. Uh, I know it's supposedly like an XCOM-ish sort of, sort of game uh, with some like RPG aspects to it. Um, I really don't know what to expect. I've never seen any gameplay for this game, so... I want you to love XCOM. Yeah, yeah. And I, I enjoy XCOM 1 and 2 as well. I really wish I had gotten around to finishing War of the Chosen. I probably should just try to either do it off stream or whatever, but I should try to finish War of the Chosen. I finished XCOM 2 Vanilla, but not War of the Chosen. Um, so, I don't really know what to expect with this game. I really, really don't. Never even seen gameplay. I just know it involves mechs, and there's a few, there's a few entries. So, I mean, again, uh, it's kind of a personal rule. If a game has multiple entries, it's likely a good series. It's likely a, at least a couple of games that are good, right? Look at Kingdom Hearts. Look at Mass Effect. Look at Fear. You know, anything that's got a sequel likely was pretty good at some point or another. Not all of them could be good. We know we've got some fails in some of the sequels. Looking at you, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. <laughs> but, you know. Look, I missed something. There was just a, a whole issue yesterday it was an issue with anybody like against me or anything of that sort it was really just me trying to deal with something just from my own perspective i was trying to play halo with a friend yesterday with jose y'all know him as king jalapeno and suddenly his family said he wanted to, they wanted to do something with him and he had to go you know again it's, it's the big f word that pisses me off family I have no family, I'm not going to have a family, and so when family gets involved, when other people's family gets involved in what I'm trying to do, it, it bothers me. It bothers me. Again, that's not a shot at Jose. I'm not upset with him at all. That's his decision. He's damn near, I think his birthday is today or yesterday, one of the two. So he's, he's legal adult now. I literally, even if, I, even, if he wasn't under, even if he wasn't an adult, I have no control over him. He's not my child. I'm not his dad. I ain't your dad. <laughs> so... He, you know, it, I'm not upset with him at all. Hi, Jose. I'm not upset with you at all. I'm not. But I can't prepare a stream and it have to end for a short amount of time after because someone's got to go because of family or whatever. Okay? That's it. That's it. So I'm, I'm just not going to do streams with anybody anymore. Now, I'm not saying that I'm not going to play games off stream with friends. I still will do that. I mean, it doesn't really happen very often because I usually, because I don't, there's only one day a week that I don't stream, and that's Mondays. So, you know, it's very rare that I ever actually don't stream something. But for now, I'm going to say I will not be streaming anything with anybody ever again, with the exception of Bima. Sorry, Jose. Sorry, anybody else who had plans. I, no need to apologize, Jose. It's not your fault. It's me. It's all me. This, it really, really has nothing directly to do with you or anybody else that I've dealt with in the past. It's just me. It's the way my mindset, the way my, the way my stream works, the way I want to run my stream. 
it's not conducive for sudden sudden changes because of off stream stuff. It's okay. You don't need to apologize. It's all me. It's all me. So I'm not upset with you at all. Really not. Okay. I think I've rambled on enough. I haven't even pulled this game up yet. Uh, so, shit. I haven't even... I, I've installed it, obviously, but I haven't even run it. So I don't even know if this game's going to work. It should. It's the remake, and it came out, like, just a few months ago, I think. So, this is going to be a new experience all around. Let me get it pulled up here, and then I'll have to adjust audio. So if it suddenly gets really loud, I apologize in advance. If it loads. It's, it's trying to. It's acting like it's trying to. We're working on it. We're working on it, everybody. Hold, just hold on. <laughs> Oh shit, I only hear the right thing loaded. Damn it, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Hojo, is that you? Or Wanzer, like a like a Panzer, but with a W. I can't read that. It's all walking. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought it would have been. Walking Panzer. Okay. <laughs> Push the any button. We'll try it there. See what we got. It says here, yeah, like I, I, can't, I can't read that. Instant battle, instant movement, battle speed. I'll set for normal. I'll change that if I need to. 1920, borderless UK, U, 60 hertz. It's all good. Blur, like motion blur? No, let's turn that off. Uh, gamma, I'll crank up just a little bit. This is a little bit brighter for you guys. Anti aliasing times two. Shadow quality, ultra, if I need to adjust those later, I will, trolls, QWERTY, of course, uh, I'm not using a controller, okay. All right, I don't, I literally don't know anything about this game. Don't know story, don't know characters, don't know much. <laughs> I don't know much, but I know I'm not going to finish that song. Don't know much folks in my life anymore. Yeah, same here. New game. Yes, no. Oh, can play the tutorial. Um, yeah, let's do a tutorial since I don't know Jack Diddley. Uh, enemy hit points, the damage they inflict are reduced by 
The damage they inflict is increased by 20. Wow, enemy hit points are increased by 400%. Whoo! Wow! Enemy hit points are increased by 900%. Jesus! Wow! Alright, um... Uh, since I don't know what I'm expecting. I'm going to put it on recruit. I know it's a pussy thing to do, but I am I don't know what to expect. They're not kidding around. I, clearly. I, I don't know what to expect, so I'm going to put it on that. Um, experience from the original Front Mission first game. Perspective view of camera. Freedom of camera movement. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to go with uh, modern. Closer to XCOM style, but I see they have, like, you know, uh, the original version, if you wanted to. I've never played the original, obviously. I've said many times, I don't know Jack Diddley about this, uh, uh, about this title. Leo Dying. Leo dying. Of course, it's always that last little bit that's going to take forever. She had to, just want to reach over there and like... You know, just, huh. Put it on that loading, bu loading bar. It's a stubborn bitch sometimes. There he goes. Welcome to Huffman Island, Lieutenant. Apparently there's no... Uh, Voice acting in this. No, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> and not yet, it isn't. <laughs> Thank you, Per Two. We're second there. We're second there, Per Two. I actually thought that was coming from him because the timing was great. <laughs> I'm Sergeant Glenn Duval, your personal Wanzer trainer for today, sir. Trust me, dude. I don't need training on how to Wanzer. Oh, 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 walking pants. Right, 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 right. I'm thinking of something completely different. Sorry. Just call me Royd. Okay. <laughs> A one's off the reservation. You're older than me and you've been in the service for longer than I have. Royd. First name, Anne. Get it? Android. All right, Lieutenant. I mean, Royd and his sister stare. I'm sorry. I don't usually take part in training exercises like these, but the brass thinks you get you show great promise as a Wanzer pilot, so he asked me to train you. When he gets angry, it's Royd rage. Good one, good one, Doc. You know what? Well, I got a second here. I need to throw these. Throw these out here. Okay. Thanks. No problem, Kit. No problem, Doc. Still, I wonder. I've never seen a lieutenant as young as you. How'd you do it? I fucked my way through college. <laughs> Just look, I guess. I made it out alive from all the hot zones they keep sending me into. And now you're on Huffman, another potential hot zone. Personally, I'd say you have rotten luck. Depends on how you look at it, Sergeant. Okay, let's start with the basics. I don't uh, I don't doubt you have great survival skills in the battlefield, but applying them to a Wanzer will still require a lot of practice. No doubt. Fascinating conversation we got here. First, let's try moving your Wanzer. I move my wands are usually twice, maybe three times in the mornings. When you select a unit, its movement range is displayed as blue squares, which is one of the squares with the cursor and press right. Yeah, okay, got it. Mm-hmm. Movement range is dependent on the type of terrain you're traversing. Terrain type of the information is going to be selected the terrain of the screen. Right, okay. Okay. Convenient. Terrain can also offer varied degrees of cover. Cover will give you defensive bonuses under enemy fire. Learn to capitalize on these points, you'll be halfway to win the battle. So this really is like uh, uh, Battletech. Slash XCOM. Put up here in your practice. Move your wand to the green square. Where's green square? Okay. 
Alright, cancel is left button. Alright. Oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> When you don't move a long way, it just kind of just j shimmies over there. Good. Moving your wands or shouldn't be a problem. Now let's cover basic wands or combat. <laughs> you got connections. Wandsers can be equipped with a weapon in each hand, and so you can also mount weapons and shields on each shoulder. Oh, okay. All right. However, you can only use one of these weapons when you attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. There are also three attack types, melee, short range, and long range. Let's have you actually attack something before explaining any further. So basically this is XCOM with uh, Gundams. There's your target. The option to attack will appear when a target's within range of one of your weapons. All targets in range will be designated by a red square. Select the square to target an enemy, then choose the weapon you want to use. When you are satisfied with selection, select OK. Now try attacking the target with weapons set at your disposal. Disposal. Okay, so... Wait, how do I attack? Do I need, essentially I need to be within range, so do I need to move first? Oh, okay, there we go. Pooch! Melee attacks are mainly used to focus damage on one location. If you have the proficiency level, you can attack before they do. Now try attacking the target with a different weapon. Attack. Short range attacks are the bread and butter of Wancher Combat. The number of attacks performed and their damage differ by weapon type. Okay. AI opponents aren't going to be facing on the battlefield. For your final training, you'll have to face me! By the way, there are repair items in your Wanzer's backpack. Use the, uh, select use items from the menu to repair any Wanzer locations that have taken damage. Select weapon bone. <laughs> I'll use my bone, all right. Damn. I fucked him up in a hurry. He was even blocking. They weren't kidding when you said you had you had talent. No wonder you made lieutenant so fast. Thanks. But I can tell you were holding back, Sergeant. Why? I'm sorry. I didn't do it on purpose. You see, I have a childhood friend who's now in the UCS Army, and he's about your age. A friend of the UCS? Yeah, we were both born and raised on Huffman before all this hate between OCU and UCS flared up. There's a whole lot of CUs and O's going on here. Those were the good days. You felt like you were aiming a weapon at this friend, so you held back? I guess so. I really hope there isn't another war on this island, Roid. Many people have friends and family on either side. Oh, before I forget, I have orders from command for you. You're being promoted to the rank of captain and being appointed leader of your own recon squad. One training and you're already captain. Wow. Talk about really going up the ranks. Again, welcome to Huffman, captain. Seriously, like, really? <laughs> One mission and you're already, already leader of a group. Select a campaign. Hmm, there are two different sides of this, huh? The second Huffman conflict has seen through the eyes of the cap of Captain Roy Clive of the OCU Army. Recommended for first time play. Huh. 
the second hub in conflict is seen through the eyes of Lieutenant Kevin Greenfield of the UCS military. Recommended for experience. Well, I'll go with them first, obviously. <laughs> Front Mission 2. Play the free demo now. Uh, sure. I'll keep it the default. Uh. <laughs> Works for me. The art looks a very, looks a lot like, like the art of those two images reminded me a lot of like Final Fantasy VI. This game was, was developed by Square Enix, so I guess I'm not surprised by that. Or I shouldn't be surprised by that. There's going to be some connection there. Mission details. 2100. Board a light submarine in the Huffman Island city of Menasa, Oceana. Rendezvous at waypoint 30. Clicks offshore of Monas, UCS territory. Transfer to camouflage cargo ship and proceed to the landing point. Commits covert reconnaissance. Commits covert reconnaissance operation to UCS manufacturing facilities in the Larsis district. In light of recent tensions between the two nations, you are prohibited from engaging in any hostile actions toward UCS units you may encounter. Well, darn. I'm going to play a war game, and they're not going to let me fight nothing. Thuck. Words is heard, yeah. Story of my life. This is Rabbit 1. I've reached the recon point. How does it look? It's quiet. Too quiet, maybe. I don't see anyone. Be careful, Karen. Don't worry, Roy. I'll be fine. Lieutenant Muir is a capable soldier, Captain. I know you two are engaged, but you shouldn't have worried yourself so. Okay. Yes, I know. Thanks. Now clear comms. Apologies, Captain, but I have to wonder, why did you go to all this trouble violating the treaty even to recon this run-down factory? All I can say is this is part of someone's agenda, and I don't like it. Th this factory? What's wrong, Karen? I can't believe they... This isn't... This isn't right. Karen, report! Does it just materialize out of thin air? Enemy wanzers! But how? Why did we pick them up earlier? They had cloaking devices. We have to get Karen out of there. We're going in. You're right on time. Oh, let's see. Uh, let's, let us see how well they trained you, dude with really, really radical hair. Hold up. Hold the hell up. Uh, keyboard layout. What the hell's it the Zerdy keyboard? I wanted to adjust my settings. I don't really like that, but okay, I'll deal with it, I guess. I wanted to use the keyboard to move the camera around, but I can't do that. Alright, whatever. Look, I can pass through my own units. Yeah, she's going to get killed in the first shot. 
I'm surrounded? Not really, only on one side. Hey, Kingdom. Yep, she's dead. <laughs> well done. A new pilot's first reaction to incoming fire is to cover their eye camera, not the torso where the cockpit is. Alas, the valiant effort will be in vain. Oh my god. Thank you, Kingdom. I appreciate that. Damn. Ugh. What, did they launch a, a defensive buff or something? Karen, hang on! Right, no! Stay back! Why? Why not let them help you? I'm not going to make it there in time. These guys move way too slow. And apparently she just doesn't move at all. And she is now dead. Ah! I could, apparently my mech didn't have movable legs for some reason. I don't understand that at all. Yeah, she dead, bro. You sick? You you a uh, you're a bachelor again? Mori right, Kingdom. I went into a a, uh, a bit of a rant earlier about a new. I don't want to say policy, but. A new way to run the stream as far as doing things with other people. I'm going to guess this is probably like tactics. And if Roy dies, it's going to be instantly game over. Just wagering a guess there on that one. I like this dude's mech though. The guy that, the first, the guy that actually killed Karen. He got a pretty nice looking uh, mech. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, uh, her too. I just didn't say it. <laughs> it's like, Karen. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm not going to be doing that, with the exception of one person. Can I attack from here? Oh, I can. Launch my bone! You'll pay for this! Way to avenge your fiance, dude. Clean fucking miss. Wow. Good job, buddy. Ibis rifle? How, how do you miss a point blank range? What the... What the fuck? You know what, just punch him. Because apparently, y'all can't hit the shit. <laughs> this is like, <laughs> this is worse than XCOM. <laughs> this is worse than XCOM's like percentage to hit system. doesn't even tell me how what the percentage is for me to actually score the hit. That's what's kind of annoying. I 
this first the Quake 4. You know, I actually want to go back and, and finish it just because I've already started it. Even though it looked awful. <laughs> Even though it looked awful. I assume I'm probably going to get, like, jump jets of some kind to get on top of these buildings. Yeah, that's, that's definitely XCOM mechanics right there. That's definitely XCOM type mechanics, uh, per two. <laughs> Punch him in the robot dick. This one order with BMO? Yes. BMO is going to be the one person I want to still do games with. Well, I can't I can't attack something at an angle, but I can't punch something that's, too, that's at an angle. This should be enough. Now to cleanse this place with righteous fire. Hello, Nicole. What? Captain, stand back. Even though you're already behind us, stand back. Well, they blew up that building. June 3rd, 2090. 2090. You see that? 2090. That's not that far away. <laughs> uh, OCU responded by denying any involvement with the attack and in turn accused the UCS of staging the entire incident to justify. I moved too fast. Diplomatic efforts, blah, blah, blah. That's begun the second half of conflict. So, in other words, we were framed. I don't know why the text was moving the way it was. With the whole stuff. So, other than stopping in and watching me play a uh, X con it's like 60 years from now, actually, that's actually almost right. <laughs> the Wands are pilots who were present at the site of the Larsus incident were reclassified as MIA during exercises. Aside from a handful of top-level army officials, only these pilots have any knowledge of the actual events that occurred in Larsus. Maybe you turn the audio down because that was actually loud. A year after the Larsus incident in the Baron Dick, a year after the Larsus incident in the Barrenden district of Huffman Island, OCU territory. You're up next. Get in your wanker, Wanzer, Wanzer. Sorry. I hear you. So what? I'm in arenas now. Winker, yeah. <laughs> I know you're on a winning streak, but losing a couple here and there is better for business, you know. Roy and Clive, we need to talk. My name is Man in Shades. That is my full legal name, by the way. First name, Man, middle name, In, last name, Shades. You can call me... Mr. Shades. Twenty ninety one hundred and ten is still about twenty ninety. I will be, um, I'll be one hundred and five. Yeah, I'll be one hundred and five. Didn't you see the sign on the door? Authorized personnel only. Get the hell out. Hold on. Who are you? Come on, it's your turn on the arena floor, Royd. Hurry up and get down there. Go on. I'll speak with you later. Because I have shades. Wow, oh, I just put myself in the eye. And now the night's main event. Hot on a 12-match winning streak. Royd, Hellspawn, Clive versus Jack. 
who doesn't have a last name or an awesome nickname. Oh, there it is. Jack Crimson Sutherland. Bitch, please, he ain't Crimson. I know Crimson. It's half of in my name. Let the games begin. I like the look of this mech. Looks like something straight out of uh, Mech Warrior, actually. Pooge power! Did he just knock my gun off? Oh shit, he did. I thought this guy was good. Pooch power! Oh, I guess I won. Got a crimson wannabe. Uh, you've lost. I did? Was I supposed to lose? It looks like you've lost your edge. No matter. We'll get you back in shape. My name is Olsen. That's my nickname. My real name is Man in Shades. I'm in command of the Canyon Crows Mercenary Group, affiliated with the OCU Army. They're using mercs now? That's right. Just between you and me, the OCU is losing. Bad. The Army refuses to admit that it could, couldn't slug its way out of a wet paper bag. And so we need mercenaries. Real soldiers. Like you, Royd. Or you've come to recruit me? You're fast on the draw. Yes, I want you to work for me. I want you to lead the Crows. I'm not going back to the army. Not even to avenge Karen's death? What would you know about that? Everything. A man in my position has to do his homework. You were in Larkas at the time of the infamous incident where Karen was KIA by UCS forces. You were unceremoniously discharged, your records and your very existence deleted from OCU databanks. And you spent the last year drifting from one town to the next, earning your pay as an arena prize fighter in dumps like this. Thank you for explaining what's been happening since the last time we saw him. Plot device detected. Or rather, expository exp 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 device is what I was trying to say. I'm bad at words. I don't even know why I talk. Come with me and you'll get the chance to find the man who killed Karen. That's the least you can do for her, don't you think? Where do I sign? Good. Welcome to the Crows. There's a transport plane waiting for you at the airport that will take you to your first assignment. Visit my office in the military ward once you're ready. Take this 1,000 Huffman dollars should cover any wands or upgrades you might need. Here, here, here's 1,000 Huffman dollars. So that's actually the actual name of the, the actual name of the currency, Huffman dollars. Karen's dead. Yeah, more, you said, damn it, more. I, I would say more like, thank God. <laughs> I bet anybody whose real name is Karen in real life that isn't actually a Karen probably really hates that uh, that meme. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Barrington. What can I do for you today? He's a wack. He, he's a he's a wanker dealer. Let me, look, let me look at what I currently have. Uh, bar. <laughs> Are you all set to go? No. I was looking at shit. Don't tell me to hurry up. Can I look at my mech? Wands are set up. So here we go. Hello, Darth. Happy Sunday. So this is a shrike, huh? Okay. Big. That looks delayed. A 
nothing on the right hand. I have nothing to equip. So I, I have nothing but a... Oh, I have, uh, I have that on there. Okay. Okay. So I can buy weapon parts. Oh, I can completely customize the mech. Oh, shit. Okay. Crazy. <laughs> look, look, he got no legs, Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> that mech ain't got no legs. Speaking of mechs, you make me want to pull out XCOM Enemy Within. <laughs> we were just talking about how this uh, how this game is basically XCOM with uh, uh, with mechs. Give me a second, uh, Kingdom. I'll play your commercial real quick. Hold on. I wanted to adjust the audio so just a bit more. I felt like the game was a tad loud. Let's try that. Hey there, everybody. I'm Nina Littlewood. You might remember me from that commercial where I talked about my husband, Carl, whose dick smelled like manure. Well, I'm here to tell you about a product that will make bitches like him go away for good. Have you ever had someone in your life that's just an absolute total bitch? Maybe you know a man who thinks he is always right, regardless of evidence to the contrary. Or a woman who is narcissistic and thinks everything that's said is about her. Well, I have the product for you. With just a simple six ounce spray, you can make those bitches go away for good. Presenting Bitch Be Gone. Bitch Be Gone is the perfect solution spray to repel the most annoying people. Someone questioning everything you post on social media? Spray Bitch Be Gone. Bitch Be Gone uses my own special formula of environmentally safe liquids to provide the exact level of necessary bitch repellent. If you're a business owner, we have a special deal for you. Call today and ask about our industrial version of Bitch Be Gone, which is great for getting rid of unruly customers from your business. Got a Karen who demands to see a manager for no valid reason? Use our commercial utility negation technology to properly put that bitch in her place. We also have a special deal for new Bitch Be Gone customers. Introducing our STFU sprayer. If you ever wanted more than just six ounces of anti-bitch, Get our specially designed 8 ounce STFU sprayer, which adds extra kick to boot those bitches out of your life. So, if you're tired of bitches, get Bitch Be Gone today. Call the number on your screen now to receive your freedom from bitches with Bitch Be Gone. Or check out our website at bitchbegone.fu. And hey, don't forget to ask about the STFU sprayer, a special gift for first time customers. Welcome to Video Gaming 101, I'm Professor Willie Long Woodcock. Rule number two, when your health reaches zero, you then die, which means your game is over. In order to continue playing, you must not allow yourself to die, therefore do not allow your health to reach zero. Yeah, XCOM, XCOM Enemy Within is the first game that actually made me really, really like uh, tactical games. And for the longest time, I was I said, I am never going to play Final Fantasy Tactics because I just don't like the idea of how that game, how that game is. But after playing XCOM and seeing how, seeing some gameplay of, of Tactics and being like, you know, Tactics is an awful lot like an RPG version of XCOM. So I gave it a try, and I'll be damned if I didn't love it. It was great. It was absolutely great. So I, I've actually really gotten more uh, more interested in tactical games because of XCOM, and by uh, by association, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. Well, Lieutenant Dan made an audible laugh out of me. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad my wit works on somebody. All right. Oh, nope, 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 nope. I wanted to save, I wanted to save, I wanted to save. Here we go. 
Mary Bane killed Tifa Lara Croft Zelda. Mary Tifa Bang Lara Croft kills Zelda. No doubt a doubt. Well, I don't even have to hesitate. Sonic Tactics on Game Gear. I didn't even know it was a thing. I probably I probably wouldn't want to, I probably wouldn't play it on play that one because it's on Game Gear. Not really it's not really easy to uh, stream uh, portable games. I mean it probably could, but I think I'd rather just stick with like consoles at the very minimum. There's a Sonic RPG from Bioware on DS. Really? Hmm. From Bioware, huh? That's an interesting selection. Oh yeah, I wanted to go to the shop. You just got these things hanging up here, huh? How much money do I have? I've got a thousand. Okay. It's the slowest of all Sonic games in terms of gameplay. Haha. <laughs> Uh, cute, cute, because it's a Sonic game, it's considered the slowest, it, it, because all the other ones are fast-paced, because it's Sonic is a fast character. Caught your pun there, Darth, nice. Gotta <laughs> go th fast through the menus. Mary Bang kills Zelda, Peach, Daisy. Mary Zelda, for sure. I've never had any attraction to Peach, ever. Um, and Daisy is just... A darker haired version, so I guess of the two, I'd probably rather have Daisy than Peach. So bang Daisy, kill Peach. Sorry, Mario. Five times two or one times ten. So one for ten or two at five. So it's, ex it's exactly ten damage. Uh, the range is the same. Hmm. I'm trying to think how I would want to set this up. I'm thinking on like, okay, with two shots, there's a chance that if only one misses, I'll still inflict damage for only five. But there's a chance here I could actually hit for ten or hit for zero. But of course, there's also a chance that I'd miss both of those either way. I don't know. I'd rather just be reliable with just one shot and just, you know take the risk. So what do I currently have? Oh, I have one of each already? Or is that what's... I am confused. Do you go for 5x2 because it's harder to miss two shots than one? Yeah, I suppose you're right. There's a good, there's a chance that I can at least hit out once out of those two shots. So maybe you're, maybe you're right. I don't know. Right hand. Also the attack power goes up more as well. It's like generally the attack number is, is higher. Where that's just plus two, that's plus ten. Wow, back to back uh, spam bots. Thanks, guys. Left shoulder, nothing available. Right shoulder, nothing available. He's got nothing, none of those for sale, huh? Parts, body. You really want to make your mech look like a, a Gundam from from the Gundam stuff? Okay, so let's see. This has more power. This has higher HP, though. What exactly is the power stat? Is that like... That's... Is that like an energy stat? So we've got defense, HP, power, and weight. Okay. <coughs> I don't quite get what power does, though. I got 300 left. 
equipped backpack. Okay, nothing there. CPU. So this increases my... The CPU increases, what, my damage from the different weapon types? I don't really care for being short range if I can keep from it, so... Long range 7, long range 6. Hmm. Are you to carry some? Yeah, it probably allows me to carry heavier weapons. Although I feel like short range weaponry is probably going to be more common than long range. So I probably should focus on either short range or melee. What about those weapons that I had? So this increases everything. Weight even goes down with this. Weight doesn't change, but HP goes up with the Zenith Arm. Let me look at the legs. Those look skinny. These look skinny as shit. <laughs> okay, defense and movement go up with this one. So, this one I'm going to get. Yeah, Keen has been here plenty of times. Why did he, why did he put that link up there? What are you doing, Kingdom? Um, I only have 40 left, so I couldn't even buy arms. Yeah, why did he, why did you post that, Kingdom? Paint? Ooh, I can paint. Ooh, I can paint. Red one, red two, there's only, there's only three red options. System. Okay. Uh, all right, we'll go with that. Okay. I don't know. I wouldn't do it. Any any weird links like that, I wouldn't click on. Why did you make? Why did you post that? Uh, why did you post that link, Kingdom? There's a reason those were deleted. Military ward. You all set to go? Yeah. Let's board the transport. Hope you don't get airsick. Captain Clive, it's good to see you again. Yuji, what are you doing here? I decided to stay on Huffman after my discharge. I couldn't go back to Japan after what happened. Colonel Olsen found me and recruited me. I had no reason to say no, so here I am. I'm sorry to interrupt. Captain Clive, I'm glad you decided to join us. I'm Natalie Blakewood. I've been ordered to serve as your second in command. Welcome to the Canyon Crows. Blonde, blue eyes, pretty, great. A second in command is a sex object. Are we all done with the introductions? Yes, sir, except for the crows who aren't present, of course. They'll get their chance, let's go. Yuji has joined your squad. Natalie has joined your squad. All right, so now I gotta, <laughs> now I gotta fix two, uh, two more mechs. We flew over a mountain. All right.
Probably going to put a virus on your computer kingdom. That's all those links are. Or they'll scam you out of your, uh, your money. Contacts at 1 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Screw that. We're surrounded, JJ. What are we going to do now? This is all your fault. I told you we shouldn't have gone out this far. What? You're the one who said you wanted to find some easy kills for extra cash. We'll split, 50, 50, we'll split it 50-50. 50% of zero is zero, man. It's a machination. Cut me some slack. My folks need the money. What for? Your funeral? Those has got to be some big parachutes. Aha! Hooray for reinforcements! I told you didn't we, we didn't have to worry. What's going on? Keith, is this your idea of a covert reconnaissance? We're going up to the enemy and shake their hands? <laughs> How can I say they looked a bit lonely, so we thought we'd play them a bit. We'd play with them a bit. Is that supposed to be funny? Cut it out, you two. Now's not the time for this. Captain, we await your orders. There's only five of them. What are you waiting for? Advance! My eye itches like crazy. So, are these two on my team as well? Or is it just these three? I guess we'll find out in a second. Uh, go over here and engage these guys. Can't, can't fight them yet. Okay, so these are on my team. Okay. Sorry, that hopping animation is just so funny. Fire! Nice, one shot. All right. Fire another piss weapon. And very, uh, like, there's very little impact on some of those guns, some of those weapons. Just like, pew, oh, no, I have died. So, am I getting any experience when the enemy attacks me, too?
Hmm. Okay, I see grouping up is probably not a good idea. a small mech. Three months. Really? Only three months? Two months, 27 days. Hmm. Huh. Missed me, bitch! I got the woogle. I got the woogles? Fuck! I was trying to say I got the wiggles. Never mind. I guess the Woogles is funnier. Uh, I have no idea, Kingdom. Bemo. Um, Bertu. Probably uh, Chris. Probably has... Uh, well, Chris probably doesn't have the longest time. But he's got probably the longest watch time, but not the longest follow time. Um, Jose. Josh probably has the longest follow and watch time. Okay, that gun's pretty good. That raptor. Fire my piss three cannon. You lost your gun, buddy. Let's see what, let's look at what this lady can do. She's got Siege and Zora Punch. This is the Siege machine gun. Was that the... Was that the... That was the... Oh, I got it backwards because it said, whoops, it said five times two and one times ten, didn't it? So it's five shots at two damage a piece. And, and then the other is one shot for ten damage. So it's five shots. Okay, I see the difference now. <laughs> exclamation, I don't have an exclamation comment command. He's over here behind me laying down asleep. A lot of mechs just standing around. Yeah, it is. It really reminds me a lot of uh, uh, Battletech for sure. Yeah, I'd be okay with 5 times 2 Will the name of the game ever return? I don't know. I, I'm, not, I'm not anytime soon. Not anytime soon. Attack him? Oh, I thought I could attack him. Uh, how can I look and see what they've got? I can't see what they've got, huh? Doesn't tell me what weapons they're using. I'll go intercept this guy. I think you could counterattack. There it hits, of course. Yeah, I might change that uh, that, uh, that uh, second weapon. It really was five by two. Both his arms are gone, so it means he has no weapons left. All he can do is punch, possibly.
I wonder if the if like this mech here, since both of its arms are disabled, if it can still punch. Doesn't matter, it's dead now. Item salvaged. Okay, cool. What? How? The OCU was never this good. And we got an arm. So we can salvage parts off some of these. What if there's any way to like increase the likeliness of uh, salvaging something? Like same. Okay, so also I see a reason for having two different weapons on each hand. Because you can't, obviously you can't dual wield, at least not yet. That, if that's a thing, that's just not available yet. So it's good to have two different weapons on each hand for different circumstances. I'm going to keep in mind. Samus, Lily from Tekken, and Yoshi. You mean Yoshi? You mean Yoshi from Mario? Damn it. Uh, I don't know what Lily from Tekken looks like. At least she finally hit him. can't surround him. I want to try to get... Oh, I can hit... I can hit him from there? Oh, he's got a Piz 3. Okay. Whoosh! He did! Bonus experience. The area is clear of hostiles. Captain, let me formally introduce you to Keith Carabell and join us, Jiriaska. Two more members of the Canyon Crows. Just make sure you never stand behind me and we'll get along fine, Captain. Captain. Oh, he's full of conversation. The Colonel has asked us to report to the military ward in New Milken. The facilities there will also let us repair and resupply. How long is Rebirth? Rebirth took me over 100 hours to beat. And I didn't, uh, I didn't play everything. I didn't do everything. I did, like, probably 70% as far as, like, the side quests and stuff. Uh, but it took me, when I finished the game, I was at 111 hours and 11 minutes. So probably a, pull, a full playthrough of doing everything, I would say probably north of 120, 130 hours, maybe more. It's a, it's a long one, especially compared to Remake, which is only like, what, 30 hours maybe? Alright, let's take a look at our mechs. Uh, set up. That's mine. 
That's the his. Hers is of course pink. This one was really durable. It was it got shot a lot and took like almost no damage. Yes, defense is 13. Defense of 11. Um, okay, here's what I want to do. Because I am such an OCD when it comes to my customizable stuff. So I can't remove things. I wanted to like make a whole. Can I make an entire? I currently have a Zora three A. So I can swap it around, it looks like. Was Red 11 Zack? Green was Red 11 Zack. Alright, what is the height? Let's see, so we're at 3A. Okay, so that's not. So can I put it on there now? Can. Okay. We need to buy more stuff. Does the dog called Red sound a bit like the main voice actor is Zack from Final Fantasy VII come in? No, but Red and Zack don't sound anything alike. Okay, so... Left hand is currently... Oh wow, there's a lot of options here. Defense of 20 with the Tempest. Power 180. Vapor is 188. And it comes with a machine gun. It comes with a weapon. The rest of these are punch weapons. It comes with a machine gun. It means it can't be mounted.
One and two on defense. on the Tempest legs. Kind of looks awkward with that design, doesn't it? <laughs> Do you play as Cloud in Crisis Core? No, you don't. You only play as, uh, as Zack in Crisis Core. You don't get any party members. That improves melee and long range. Yeah, that was five by two. Five shots. At two damage per shot. Okay, that's that's what got me. That's what was confusing me for a second. Okay. Multi-purpose. Thirteen shots. Also multiple one thirteen 13 shots. Hmm. Improved hit. Actually, no, it has less hit. The Tonfa has 85 hit. Rim 3 is designed for range. Okay. Shoulder. I think I'd rather have the boner. Looks a little awkward, though, doesn't it? <laughs> like all the weights on the right side of the mech. Customize mine. Let me let me customize what I've already got without having to buy stuff. I know this is probably very boring to do all this setting up, so I apologize. But I am OCD about my setups. If I can customize this much. I appreciate that kingdom. Weapons, left hand. Raptor is four times three, so four damage times three shots. The lower chance to hit, so he'll stay with that, I guess. I need more weapon selection before I figure out like exactly how I would want to set up a two arm, uh, two weapons on each character. I probably want one for short range and one for long range, or because they'll all they'll all come with a melee punch. 
no matter what, they'll all come with a melee. So I wouldn't need to worry about a melee weapon or melee uh, melee based uh, arm. So I could have a short range and a long range. You know, oh, and the, I think there was also a medium range. So. Yeah, this is a long-range weapon. Okay, so I need to buy another shoulder weapon for his vehicle. So Ryo needs a new weapon. Overweight. So that's only slightly, slightly worse, so I'll take that. Defense and empower with this one. Okay, I can afford that. Yeah, basically shotgun and sniper, essentially. Yeah. Tempest with 22 defense. legs. Okay, let's modify the next one. Uh, probably, I, I prefer assault rifle. Like, if I, if I was like a, uh, in most games I prefer assault rifles over snipers. Uh, I prefer the. I've always said that I've always compared my uh, my combat style whenever I play a game. I would prefer minigun over rocket launcher, and I know that's not what you asked, but I'm, I'm saying this for a reason. I'd rather hit you a thousand times with a thousand bullets at one damage each, than fire one rocket to do a thousand damage because I would prefer full auto that constantly does does high DPS as opposed to slow firing rockets. I'd rather fire fast. Then fire slow. That's just how I prefer. <clears throat> Alright, let's set up the next one. Which is Primrose. Here's what we've got. This is higher. This is higher HP. A little less of the power, though. So they're gonna go with that. Husky three punch. Looks like it's carrying. Oh, it is carrying what? Right arm. Okay, nothing really crazy. All these are actually weaker than the current arm she's got, which is the Zora three A. Yeah, I think she'll stay with the Zora 3A there as well. I want high hit percentages. So, Seeker. Okay. 
left shoulder, right shoulder. So we need to buy some shoulder weapons for her. Okay, so, all right, now let's let's upgrade. Let's shop for primrose. We're running out of money. A machine gun and Gatlin gun, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I don't quite have the uh, patience for sniper rifles. Patience or accuracy. I mean, I can in certain circumstances. In certain circumstances. We're gonna eleven hundred bucks left. And give her another tempest armor for high defense. You can afford it. Get a Husky Mark III for the left hand. Really? The really? Why would the defense be lower on the left hand than the right? Yeah, Tempest left... De the Tempest right arm is 22 defense. Tempest left arm is 22 defense. Then why did it show the Mark III being better? Well, I think I've got a spare Tempest. I don't need to buy another one. I'm confused by that. Tempest is 20. Can't afford it. Tonfo would be better. I can't afford anything now. Okay. Since we don't have any money, we can't buy anything. Oh, we can't sell stuff. Um, all right. Before we do, let's set up the rest of them. Tempest what's currently on. Right arm. Hmm. Okay. Alright, let's upgrade the other two then. Uh, yeah, this is front mission. This is front mission first remastered. Also, hi Xander, welcome in. This is the re this is the remake of the first game. Right, so all these would be better, basically. Thirteen forty-two. Okay, so we'll take the Galvo. Left arm. Highest defense is the Husky. He's fine with that arm. Higher accuracy. Way higher accuracy. Oh, well, way higher accuracy because there's nothing on that hand to begin with. No shoulder weapons available. Let's do this one. Uh, parts, body. Okay, the Giza has the highest defense. Left arm. 
Galvo has highest defense. With that, right arm. Zora 3A has the highest defense. Legs. Zora 3A again. Hearts. No, weapons. Left hand. Okay, fine with that one. No weapons for the shoulders. Okay, JJ's definitely going to be the, the lacking one here. Okay, finally. We can get back to doing something. <laughs> I didn't get far in the originals. I always got stuck. Ended up mostly grinding the simulators. Hoping to get strong enough to beat the next mission, but never got lucky. Yeah, I, I just started. I just started. In fact, I just got my I just finished my second mission and got a whole bunch of new characters. That's why I spent all that time doing a bunch of setups, which I'm sure was super exciting to watch. What's the bar? I haven't looked at the bar yet. Zilla. Top. New Milgan is the OCU's first Huffman settlement. My bar has been around since day one, making us the oldest union side establishment. Quite a legacy. Good talk. <laughs> I hear there was a plane crash nearby. Pilots gain different numbers of skill points in each weapon category and dodge rating. It's best to specialize in one type of weapon at first if you want to survive. I heard the CPUs work better on clear nights during a full moon. I heard it from Hash at Barrington. You can trust him, really. Alright, that's useless. We received word that one of our light transport planes went down in the mountain 60 clicks northeast of here. Your mission is to recover the plane's cargo before the statesmen do. Set up AICP and move out. Move out! This is the crash site. It's within proper OCU borders, but we've detected UCS troops inbound. Here's the mission intel. Well, that didn't tell me anything. How do I go? <laughs> How do I leave town? Oh. I just ride in a van? <laughs> the other reasons I like the game is for like Final Fantasy Tactics and Armored Corps plus the world with a shit ton of background factions. Yeah, yeah I definitely can see that parallel. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics and... Uh, uh, Gundams or, yeah, Armored Core? Definitely. Definitely can see that. UCS ground units approaching, Captain. Let's get, the, let's get that container before they spot us. Hey, someone's up there. Where's the rest of my troops? A civilian Wanzer? He's standing in plain sight. UCS will see him. You there, this is a free fire zone. Evacuate the area at once. Hey, lady, do you mind? I'm getting some footage from my hot scoop here. What did you just call... He cut me off. Journalists. Move up. He's going to need our help whether he likes it or not. Oh. Okay. I was beginning to wonder why there was only one. I'm like, uh... Do I only get one character? <laughs> Did a PlayStation one that was harder since you played kids stole some mechs than, than on the run from the JSDF? You see 100 identified Wanzer... I see one unidentified Wanzer near the crash site, sir. It must be the OCU. We'll neutralize them. Yeah, all my mechs are black except mine. <laughs> or the main character, whatever. I have not played Simpsons Hit and Run. I do know what it is, though. It's a crazy taxi clone.
what the S stood for. Uh, probably Special Defense Force. Like Japanese Special Defense Force. Like Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. Or Special Tactics and Rescue Services, aka STARS. STARS. figure out how to change the controls, right? Stars! Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to, uh... Wait, can... How to play... Okay, here we go. Can I change these? System camera... I don't really want to rotate, I wanted to slide the camera. Space, okay. T to in, T to end player turn. Weapon ranges. Show weapon ranges with caps lock. Okay. Hold left control. Oh, that's useful. Okay. That's useful. Or, oh, okay. I see. It's like Dragoon Blocky. Department of Area and Radiative Thermonuclear Highlighting. I actually had to read that. I had to take a second to read that with just the letters. <laughs> is that is that your own personal uh, establishment there, Darth? Whoa, what the hell? He doesn't even have weapons. Where does it where did I get a mech to begin with? Ah, help me! What now? We need to hit the UCS units anyway. We're covering him. But sir, we don't have pe we don't need people surrounded and alone. Not this time. Roid. The civilian vehicle. This is the OCU Army Mercenary Group Canyon Crows. Form on us and we'll cover you. Uh, okay, thanks. You're actually protecting that crate. We recovered the cargo. Amazing, it's a new type of missile launcher. Good work. Let's see how it works on those Aussie Wanzers. Uh oh. This is why I have ranged weapons. <laughs> Fire your bone launcher! Take my boner, bitch! Ooh, -hoo! look at that damage. Both of his arms got fucked up. Krieg's Rangers are in continent, intercontinental missions. <laughs> the fully automated reconnaissance team. Krieg, by the way, is German for war. Yeah.
Let's see. Let's try out the Tonfa. Oh, it's a melee weapon. Okay, I didn't know that. Long range weapons can't get a counter attack. I see. I got plenty of uh, plenty of options to choose from. <laughs> Take my bone missile. <laughs> the Krieg Rangers in continental continental missions. Yeah, I probably could. Level up. All right, you are the enemy. You're the enemy commander, too. I wonder which option I should choose. Think. <laughs> UG leveled up. Time for it again. Oh my god, you missed. You still gain experience even though you missed. Alright, that explains nothing, really. No oh shit, it's the crims! <laughs> much for higher accuracy. Funny that counts as a short range weapon and not melee weapon. Chabonk! <laughs> There's just very little impact to some of these weapons. Now, those on the other hand, that was very impactful. <laughs> Would you rather have a really good laptop, really good PC? Really good PC. I don't really have a lot of use for laptops. I don't really do a lot of mobile stuff. I mean, I do have one. I do have a laptop. It's the laptop I'm using to watch the stream with. But, uh... I prefer a uh, regular PC for the most part. <laughs> no arm for you. Ow, you pooched me. He attacked me, but I got a counterattack out of it? Ah. 
that you prefer to have a laptop? Usually, most times, from, from my own experience, uh, desktop PCs have more, are usually more powerful than a laptop. But, yeah, there's exceptions to every rule. We got an egret rocket launcher. Nice. Thank you. Own a Raven Armored Core or Metal Gear Arsenal Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. Uh, I don't know either one of those that well. Um, I know the Metal Gear Solid mechs, though, are pretty damn awesome. Well, probably, probably that one. Probably the Metal Gear Arsenal. Desktops are more powerful, easier to upgrade, more modular, suffer less for heat. Laptops are good for transportable solutions, though. That's true. Definitely uh, easier to upgrade. Desktops are. That's definitely true. I can definitely concur with that uh, that assumption or that uh, assertion. Your arsenal was the first of its kind that could swim in the ocean. Punch him in the back. Well, we turn around anyway, so obviously, obviously, attack percentages are going to make a difference for front or back because they they turn around anyway. Now they leveled up. Okay, cool. Rather work with WB Games, work with Capcom. Ugh. Ugh. Eww. Man, both of those are, uh... Eww. Both of those are questionable at best. <laughs> Probably WB over, uh... over Capcom. Usually it's either, usually Capcom, <laughs> Hitler, so no, yeah, pretty much. With Capcom, you're going to either have a really awesome game like Resident Evil 7 or a really awful game like Resident Evil 8. Xander, I was I was laughing at your comment. I completely agreed, and I said that uh, uh, the problem with working with Capcom is you'll either get a really good game like Resident Evil Seven, or you'll get a really bad game like Resident Evil Eight. That's usually what you're going to get.
try this gun. Yeah, WB Games has as Nether Realm, but that that's WB is that just means WB has is publishing Nether Realms games. Nether Realms do one doing all the work, not WB. Big difference. Nice, he go boom. Yeah, JJ leveled up. And we got an Iguchi Type Five rifle. They are desperate to stop that Frederick guy. And I leveled up. Nice. We got a calm body. All targets neutralized. Hey, did that idiot journalist bite it or not? Wow, what a rush. This is what I call captivating wartime footage. I'm afraid he's still intact. The name's Frederick Lancaster. Don't you need, don't you read the papers? I'm a famous war reporter, you know. Nope, never heard of you. <laughs> what about what you call what you said earlier? Did you call me Hey, you need this outfit, right? I got a favor to ask. Mind if I tag along with you guys? I won't give you any trouble. I'm pretty good at with wanzers, and I can shoot a gun better than a camera. Do as you like. I'd rather keep you where I can see you than on the loose. Right. I know the colonel gave you full authority on recruiting new members, but please, not him. Capcom has Devil May Cry. Capcom also has Resident Evil. Capcom also has uh, Street Fighter. Marvel vs. Capcom. Marvel vs. CNK. Uh, 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 sorry, Capcom vs. SNK. They they've got oh they've got quite a but a bit. Okay, well let's take a look at the uh, setups. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. The uh, Devil May Cry, the dark-haired Dante. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Okay, uh, actually, I kind of like the way this one is set up. You've got the melee weapon with the Tonfa on this right hand. You've got the uh, mounted assault rifle with this one that comes with the weapon. So I kind of like the setup, even though the, even though it looks very awkward with all the weapons on the right side <laughs> looking like it should fall over. But having this is really, I think, really going to be useful. So I think I want more setups like this. Bring him along, I might as well set him up. Alright, the Husky Mark III. Giza, It's a better rocket launcher, huh? Okay.
He's already got two shoulder weapons. Say Blizzard is Diablo 2, they also, also say they have Diablo Immortal, or Konami has Metal Gear, they have Metal Gear Survive, or Bethesda has Fallout 3, and say they have Fallout 76. Well, I mean, 76 was bad at launch, but better. Every, every developer is going to have good games and bad games. It's how you recover from the bad ones that dictates how good of a developer you are. Anything new in the shop? No, same stuff. What is that? That's, a, that's just an armor plate, isn't it? Huh. Improved defense. Here's what I want out of my mech. Left arm. But the strongest defensive arm I can get, which is the Tempest. Left weapon, left hand weapon is gonna be the Tonfa. I probably should have a short range weapon on me too, just in case. So, that. And left shoulder. Overweight, damn. Starfield, though, I mean. Starfield has its usefulness. <laughs> hmm. How can I improve my weight? What? How do I? How do I figure out what that is? So, okay. So, what if I increase? There's, there's no body that improves the weight. They're all the same. I assume the legs are probably not going to improve anything either. So currently we have Tempest, which is 8 of 30. Shoulder. So it's a weight of it's a weight of twenty four. Egret is currently what? Okay, so what if I go with Can I go with two bones? I wonder. Damn it, no I can't. I 
guess I could put a shield up. That'll that'll fit. Okay. So. Right shoulder can take the egret. Okay, yeah, it, it definitely weighs more. Okay. At least I've got defense up on the left side, so at least I've got some extra armor. And I have a combination of mid-range, short-range, and long-range. I want to load them up with two rocket launchers. Actually, again, again, I can only attack with one weapon per turn. So really, I should have this actually should be my normal setup. One mid-range, one short-range, one long-range, and one defense. Bandai Namco or Square Enix? It's probably Square Enix. Bandai Namco doesn't have bad games, but I uh, definitely like uh, Square better. Right shoulder. I'll give her another long range weapon. I'm mostly okay with that. According to editors, for every 10 weight underweight you are, you get one move point. Okay. That makes sense. I'm not really too worried about movement. I really am. I'm all offensive minded. I think just hit them as hard as possible. Not too worried about evasion. Yeah, they got Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy. They do. Square also made this game as well. Alright, let's save. Hopefully, I'll just get a lot more parts unlocked eventually, because it's it's still very limited on what I can uh, what I have in stock. An OCU supply convoy is currently en route to Manasa. Your mission is to escort this convoy until it reaches its destination. Escort? Ugh! Isn't that the army's job? How much are we getting paid for this? The army has its hands full clearing the surrounding area of state's units. You'll get paid well enough, Keith. The army's offering eight seven thousand reward if the convoy safely reaches Manasa. Okay, seven thousand is pretty good. Target. So I have to protect this or shoot this? The mission intel tells me nothing. <laughs> I was just being honest there. Hey, Pee-wee. Hey, Pee-wee. Word is that this area is crawling with statesmen wanzers. You're just trying to scare me, right? Yeah, don't worry. We have some highly paid mercs escorting us today. Well, this is definitely Mech Warrior. This reminds me so much of, like, Mech Warrior 4 when I had to protect uh, convoys and shit in Mech Warrior 4. But, but won't they run away when things look bad? Yeah, they've got a little more fortitude than you, Pee Wee. They. No! Ah. You exploded. Heads up, we have multiple contacts. 7 9 and 12 o'clock. Crackling sound? Is it gone now? Shit. Well, let me try a lower temperature then. Damn, it still registers highly, doesn't it?
on now. Is that much better? Quiet though. How about now? Is that improved? Damn, it's still too quiet. Check one two. Check one two. Let me let me know how it's it's actually below my desk, Sander. We know how I sound now. It's not registering very high. I'd turn my noise gate way that way up though. I need to get a silent. I need to get a silent thing. Let me, let me try. Let's see how long I can tolerate not having it on. Check levels, check levels. Alright, let me know how that sounds. <sighs> I can pull up all six, huh? Okay. Now, well, the fan's completely off, so you shouldn't hear it at all. You in the lead, come in. Me? Yes, sir? Move the convoy into the woods to your right and stay there until the fighting is over. Got that? Yes, sir. Please save us. All right. Uh... I have to just, like, come up with a... Uh, with one of those, like, silent fans that you can get. Because I, I need to have moving air. I'm okay right now, so I'm afraid I'm gonna get hot later. Yeah, yeah. The the noise gate will shut it off as long as I'm not saying anything. But once I say it, it, it picks that up too. That's why I just need like a a silent fan. You just gotta find one that hopefully isn't expensive. Let's try out the egret. Oh, this has got this has got range. Oh, it's a grenade launcher. Let's try this one. I don't use noise canceling as hear other streamers. It cuts them off just before they get done talking. Quite annoying, in my opinion. They're using for my streams. Well, that that usually isn't a problem for me because I've got it set just low enough that it never cuts me off. I usually talk higher than the noise gate allows, so it never cuts me off. You have to... At the right level of noise cancellation, you never have to worry about it cutting you off. Thank you. Hey. 
Damn. One shot got it. No, I just got I just sneezed. I'm just sneezing a bunch right now. Allergies have been acting up a little bit recently. Probably wouldn't hurt for me to like maybe vacuum my floor. I haven't done that in a little while, so I probably got like allergens from outside trapped in my carpet. We got a weenie rifle. What it says, a weenie rifle. Try the new Egret rocket launcher. 37 damage. Wow. Item salvaged. Nice. Repair S. Repairs 50 HP. Cool. How long have I been on Twitch? Uh, since June. June or July, I think, of 2021. Yeah. I had, I had, this is my second account on Twitch. This this account isn't as old as my new one. Or is, isn't as old as my first one. Another RPG with your dev. He's learning damn fast. Maybe three days in. Hasn't watched the tutorial fits. Already got switches, eventing animations down. Made some bloody detailed towns too. Huh? Some people just have talent. And then there's me. <laughs> no, I don't want to end. No! Fuck. I want to end the turn. Those people, some people can just, can just learn super fast. There's people that have that... Uh, what is it called? Um, not mimetic. Um... I, uh, I, 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 eidetic memory? Is that how, what it's, is that how you pronounce it? That they remember, like, literally everything. They could read a book and they know every single word. JJ levels up. probably have no ranged weapons on you, do you? Get you over here to help him anyway. It's quite the nag. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Things that you want to forget, you just can't. But your brain won't let you. do that, right? Okay, yeah, I can. Fire the egret! Bam! The egret fucks them up, doesn't it? He oh, oh he is a nag. What do, you, what do you mean? Like you want to? I don't get it. Like I don't understand what you mean. I'm a, I'm, I'm thinking I'm a little I think I'm a little confused. Is that mine? That's not mine. 
Fire your piss missile! Oh, now he's just I get, I get what you're saying. Got it. Now I got it. Okay. <laughs> no, there's no release date. <laughs> uh, the release date is sometime in the future. <laughs> If I had more time to work on it, I could probably give you one, but there's no way. Yeah, it's an RPG. It absolutely is. Fire the egret! I am 60 damage if both of them were hits. Get bound! Aw. I was dead anyway. One sec, I gotta blow my nose. Uh, it's getting on my nerves. All right, sorry about that. I had to blow my nose. Yeah, the uh, the entire it's, the the entire game has a longer title, but it's this first in a, in a series of games. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't do. It. I got a hand moving here. I can't. I can't. Just a few, just a couple of minutes. I'm already uncomfortably warm. I'm going to find some way to lower the sensitivity or something.
Yeah, I'm sorry. I I gotta have moving air. I can't keep I can't keep that fan off. I'll have to check maybe after the stream to see how bad it is. If it's real, if it's really you know that loud and distracting, I've got to I've got to turn it off, I gotta, or, or try to find some kind of solution. Okay, uh, where's the last of the enemies? Is that one right there? Or is that no, yeah, there? He is. Okay. I know. I know you say it doesn't bug you, but I have my my. Perfectionism is coming out. I have standards. Did he attack? Oh, that's mine. That's... Is it? Oh, he's down here. God damn it. Well, I mean, I've got it below my desk and as far in the corner as I can go, so not really a whole lot more I can do with it. It's a, it's a bedroom. I don't know if you call it small or not. Pinch him. There we go. Now it should be just these two guys up here left, right? Yeah, that's those two left. Okay. Way that you have guns, but you have to be within like one square to use them. There's no real place for me to put it to where it would still reach me. It's not that powerful of a fan, it's just very loud. Get pissed on. <laughs> Ryuji leveled up.
A journalist isn't as accurate as he th as uh, he said. Pins done. <laughs> he did. Get boned. Sneaking right behind you. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaking. His, all of his body parts are dead except his body, which has one HP. One HP. <laughs> All right, we win this one. Phew, I didn't think I'd make it. The damage of the convoy is minimal. You get your bonus, not to Minasa. Mission complete. Damn, I need 300 for that one. Minasa. All right. Was a power leveling trick something about grinding Uber Mechs in the Sim? Hmm. Probably. <sighs> okay. Let's do. Let's take a look at the. Uh... Hmm. Should we look at what we've already got or do some shopping first? Rarity's mission two. Well, I'm already past that point. Yeah, melee range, short range. Okay. Let's uh. Let's, look, let's go ahead and look at the shop. Oi! What can I do for you? Apparently he's got an accent, I guess. Hundred and twelve points of damage reduction by mission two. <laughs> More HP, but do some power. Yeah, none of the bodies will help me with the weight at all. Ziggle 6B has more defense, but only two points. Husky Mark IVs have uh, better weight, movement, and MHP. Whoa. <laughs> those aren't legs, those are treads. Hmm. 
I'm kind of at a toss-up between the treads and the uh, Mark IVs. Lose two points of defense with the treads. Treads. I don't know if that helps my weight at all. How ski mark fours have higher defense. Upgrades all stats. I'm gonna get a meteor. And the bone and the Galvados are overweights. The only problem I had was the irritating misses. As soon as you get a decent CPU, you can get one shot kills 90% of the time. Well, the misses are annoying, but they're not really that. They're not really bothering me that much. I can use any of these rocket launchers. The launcher I currently have, though, is better. So we'll keep the egret on there. So the rim three is what I'm currently using. Okay. Okay with this. I'm okay with this setup. That's black, More like a dark green. Okay. Um, let's upgrade all these. Um, body. Currently using the Tempest. I think the Tempest was the best one I wanted to use. This is the highest defense stat. Yeah. Calbo SV. Currently using the Tempest Arm.
12 HP plus 4 hit. Or plus 15 HP plus 2 defense plus 5 hit. Trying to make a decent sized medieval city, but can't figure out how to go about it. If there's one thing that I've kind of like forced myself to try to do is not make large areas, but make a, you can try to make like a large city, don't make one large map. Make a bunch of smaller maps. Like say if you want to make a big city, maybe make it, instead of making one large map, make it nine small maps. So like take it, take your, your overall idea for a design and then like slice it up into a tic-tac-toe board and just make like southeast corner, south corner, southwest corner, west, and all the, you know, all the way around. That That's what would work for me because trying to fill up an entire map, an entire large map doesn't work for me. That's why I didn't really do, that's why I didn't want to do maps in general like that for my game. All, that's why like with the tower, there's so many, like each floor has its own map, The hall, each of the stairways has their own map, you know, each floor, each floor, each side of the, the towers, you got like eastern side, central and western side, you know, they all have their own maps instead of just one giant tower map that you can just explore. I knew that wasn't going to work for me. So I don't know if that would help you, but that might be something to consider. What if I put treads on everybody? Can I afford that, I wonder? Kills a backpack, dude. Increases power. Okay. You know, I'm gonna do all the mechs first, and then I'll do weapons. Five seven six five three forty.
Even better short range. So grenade launcher, so it's got more range. the introduction part, head, head through the gate to the city, meaning it would be maybe three streets worth. Most of the tall buildings can access a few st start or be accessible. It's placement and design. It's the issue. Plus, whenever a player first arrives, it's night. So those would be closed. Yeah. Yeah, did, sometimes here, here's... I, I think your version has this as well, because you're not using MZ. You use MV. Uh, I think you can make, like... Um, like a dungeon creator, if you will, and you can like choose to make a city, and like you could use that as a template for your own city or for your own locations. If that's a, if that's a thing that's in MV, try that. See, maybe that might help. I know sometimes I just can't picture a location, and sometimes using that generator, a dungeon generator, will give you an idea of what to do for your own map. Um, let's stick with the Zeger because it's the most accurate weapon. way of making maps. I mean, I'm not saying, I'm not saying actually use that map, but like make the, generate the map and then like look around at the map options and see what, see what that looks like and then try to like visualize your own style for your own map. Left shoulder is the bone. Right shoulder should be a bone. Uh, she has a tonk on the left hand, that's fine. Right hand, probably use. The melee is her best weapon right now, so she can stay at short range. So. Probably a Zeger. Currently has a Siege on. Let's do that. Let's upgrade her to receive the Zeker. Okay. Everybody bones. Everybody a bone. Ah, hell. Why is it overweight? Maybe it's because of the other weapons that's already on there? Right shoulder, okay. So what if we put... A tonfa in the left hand.
uh, right hand was the seeker. And then right shoulder should be the bone without problem. How is it overweight? It's the same design as the other ones. How could it possibly be overweight? Body is the Tempest. I don't get it. It was the same arm and same weapons. How is it overweight? Putting the Tempest on there wouldn't help. It would make things worse. Wouldn't it? Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, clearly I'm wrong. I mean, all these, the, all these mechs now look the same. I should probably differentiate colors. <laughs> I guess Primrose can have pink since she's, you know, that's her name. Uh, how about nice bright lime green? He'll be easy to spot. Left arm, husky mark four. Right arm, husky mark four. Legs already set. I just think I just bought them twice. Whoops. Tonfa. Right hand. Zeeker. Left shoulder bone. Right shoulder bone. Make him um, Make some 
they're all the same. Yeah, okay. And now you need the need the last of the upgrades. You have everything, right? You have the same stuff as everybody else. Tempest. Legs are already set. CPU. Tonfa. Right hand. Zeker. Left shoulder bone. Right shoulder bone. Let's make you... What color should we make him? Yellow. We got this one. This is me. Okay, everybody's everybody's in uniform. I like that. I, I'm OCD and I like that. I like how that sets. Alright. Next mission. We'll settle down to this town until we get further orders. You're free to enjoy a bit of R and R as long as you stay in town. Woohoo! My two favorite words, best of recreation. Recreation. Hey Natalie, won't you come with me and we can have some fun? Do you have any plans for this leave, Royd? Not really. Then let me show you around. I used to come here quite a lot. Natalie, give a guy a break, huh? Um. Hey, mister, aren't you Royd Clive? Do I know you? Aha, I knew it. You're the guy from the picture Karen showed me. Karen? You know Karen? Yeah, I was in the same hospital as her two months ago. You told me all about you. Two months ago? Where? Which hospital were you in? Whoa, hold on there, mister. I can't tell you that for free. Tell you what, fight me in the arena. If you beat me, I'll take you there personally. How does that sound to you? Okay, I've registered as both for an unranked arena fight. Let me know when you're ready. I'll debate me the best one win. Yeah, be serious. We're going to talk to you into this roid. So wait, am I about to... Am I about to find my girlfriend after all, or fiancé, whatever? <laughs> Damn, her one punch did a lot of damage to my legs. And my arm. My god. Or my body. She, she hits hard. But he didn't need that second missile to miss. I really did need a second missile to miss. Bam! Got her! Congratulations, you've won the match! Okay, I guess you're pretty good. My name's Mayhua. 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 Here's the deal, my hero. Take me to Karen. Yeah, sure. So, you know what? Why don't you put me in your squad? What? Are you out of your mind? You're mercenaries, right? You'll be traveling all over this island, right? Come on, please. You really do know where Karen is, don't you? You're not lying to me? I'm telling you the truth. I was in Grey Rock Hospital a few miles north of here. I'll take you there if you let me join your squad. Fine, you're in. My hero has joined your squad. All right. Let's set up another mech, because why not? Afford this. <laughs> Twelve hundred.
right, we gotta give her a special color. Uh, Tempest, Husky Mark IV, legs are going to change to Garou. Where's she currently at? She's got a lot of melee and long range experience. Okay, so basically, same thing as me for the most part. She'll gain a little bit along, but she'll lose some melee. She'll lose 16 points of melee. And we'll keep her on her current weapon then. Shoulder bone. Can't afford the right shoulder bone. Darn. Okay. That's alright. Uh, also, I'm going to go back here and double check my weapon. All curled up a bit. Hey, hey, Rose. Welcome in. How you doing? Left hand is currently a rim three. Type seven is better, but unfortunately overweight. That's okay. That's great. Save. Recovering from the 24 hour subathon yesterday? Yeah, I saw you were on. They're getting rid of us that easily. We'll go with you, Captain. Wherever you're going, it's bound to be more fun than here. I'm going with you too. Mercenary Holiday, Lifestyle, lifestyle Section 1500 Words. It'll be a puff piece. Now wait just a second, Roy, to everyone. You're disobeying direct orders. Alright, we're gonna go find my fiance, supposedly. UCS troops, they're attacking the city. Where's the local defense? You there, you're OCU, right? I need backup, we must defend the city. We're en route, hang on. Captain, we can't do this, we're disobeying direct orders. The colonel will have our heads if he finds out. We're already in hot water for being here, so we're not going to run. Mehua, where's the hospital? There's that big building over there. Oh, this is a Grey Rock Hospital on it. <laughs> Keith, help me stop this. Huh? A job's a job. We'll get paid for each kill regardless, so... I'm with Keith. Fine, I did warn you. Enemy reinforcement sighted. Let them come. We'll be done here soon. Oh god, it's Driscoll. It takes six folks. Alright, well... I don't... Boop, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Well, I guess he's... Uh, I guess, uh... She's already with us. 
<laughs> it looks like a bunch of Legos out here now. Especially with the, the tank treads and all the different colors I put on them. Yeah, it's fun to be thrown down to him. Did, she... Did you actually throw it at him? <laughs> That'd be funny. I'm hearing thunder and I wasn't sure it was actually in the game or if it's actually outside. This dude's taking a lot of hits. <laughs> Get boned! JJ leveled up. Whack him with a tonfa. Nice. Good, good, good whiff there. Good whiff there, Mario. Uh... We got a, we got a piss on you missile launcher. lot of dudes on this in this mission get punched I'm in position sir what is that an artillery cannon begin loading the materials I'm going for a little stroll
Oh no! Oh no! Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Try shooting him this time. I can melee too. Bonk. That first shot did zero damage, and it was a hit. Man, that Tempest armor is really good. Damn, he got fucked up. I can never buy some some egret, uh, egret rocket launchers. I'm gonna be definitely stocking up. Huh, lost your gun. He's dead. He definitely did. And a level up. Always nice. Those bones going. Prefer it if you didn't miss. Nice, kill him with a punch. And a level up. Mahua level up twice in this level or in this mission. Punch him. Oh my hero, you've got a high a high melee stat. Why are you missing so much? K 
Come on, girl, you disappoint me. Damn it, why is everybody missing with their melees? There you go. Connect with those punches. Good job, Natalie. All materials loaded and secured, sir. And I was only getting started. Take the materials to safety. I will take care of the rest. Wait, there's anything I could have done there to stop him. Please hit with this for once. Thank you. <laughs> Bones away! <laughs> Got him. Nice. Nice, another one down. This level should give us a ton of experience with all the enemies we're fighting here, and 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 uh, uh, money. Got a Husky Mark Three arm. I would probably just sell that. his other arm, and I leveled up. Get bound! <laughs> literally! No, well, maybe not literally, but he's dead anyway. Dead. We haven't suffered any irrecoverable losses, but I think we've overstayed our welcome. Uh 
Uh oh. It's no use. Everything's burned to ash. May, do you tell me anything about you remember about Karen? What do you talk about? Well, Karen would always talk about you. She said she regretted joining the army, but. What if I could have gone after Driscoll? I killed his he, I killed his minions too fast, so that was the that was it. What if I could have attacked Driscoll himself? Cutscene. Oh, is this a flashback? Oh. I probably shouldn't have joined the army. I know it's important to do your part to defend your homeland, but it doesn't feel right here on Huffman. I don't know what is what it is, but but if I hadn't joined, I wouldn't have made the friends I have, and worse, I wouldn't have met you. Royd, after we get married, let's build a house here. I fell in love with this island the first time I set foot here. So much life and hope. You you wouldn't think they'd fought a war here twenty years ago. Ah, Commander Krim in the house. Hey, you got Mikey. Welcome in. How you doing? That's rabbit one. Every three can point. Don't worry, Roy. It'll be fine. Rabbit one convincing recon. I can't believe they this isn't this isn't right. Ah I'm alright, Mikey. I'm alright. Karen. I wonder what it's like to be loved so much. Did you say something? No, nothing. Yeah. I play I've only played Insect Armageddon, which I want to do on stream at the beginning at some point. I killed a lot of shit. Only 3,200. Okay, not as much as I hope. See what came out a few days ago? Yeah, I want to play all of them. Well, maybe not all of them, but as many as I can. I have to go talk to a hacker friend of mine. I'll be right back. A hacker? We need a hacker for? It's personal. See ya! Roy, Carter also just arrived here as well. He wants you to report to him ASAP at his office of the military ward. I'm sure he's going to be pleased. Be glad you're not in the army anymore. You deserve a court-martial for that stunt you pulled. Luckily for you, General Blakewood has given me specific orders to let this little incident slide. There's some time until your next assignment, but you better stay in town until then. Yeah, it was. It was really good. Giant ants, giant wasps, giant spiders. Everything you don't want to have to deal with in life. <laughs> We're in a new town, so let's see what... Wow. Defensive power goes way up. Looks like there's a weapon mounted to the nose. It says there's it says there's not a weapon on it though. Yeah, it was a really long time for me as well. It was like, I don't know, I couldn't even tell you the year. I don't see a downside of getting this. 
I'd be able to afford one for everybody as well. I'm broke. Damn. I can probably sell stuff. Uh, it's... I mean, it's a little closer to Armored Core. It's like Armored Core meets um, Final Fantasy Tactics. That's really the best way to describe it. see what kind of weapons we got. Nothing really new does it look like. An upgraded Tonfa. Smasher Bazooka. Hmm. A flamethrower. We can't afford them yet. Sorry, Chad, I was checking something. I was checking on my computer's uh, temperature. It's okay. It seemed like there was another fan blowing. I think the, I think the computer's working a little bit harder than usual, but I think it's alright. Um... 
Tonfa honestly isn't that much better than the Tonfa. The, the Mark II isn't actually better than the Tonfa one. Right hand. You know, the, yeah. Huh. Weird. Still amused to me as a flamethrower. Okay, I don't think we're gonna do any upgrading here, other than what we just did with the body. Not like I can really afford anything right now. That'll do. I need to uh, upgrade. What's her name's armor when I get back? When uh, when she gets back, her um, chassis. Better stay in town this time, or I'll have your head. Okay. Well. Um, oh, fine, Mahua. You're lucky. The bullets barely missed your office. It's good to see you too, May. So, uh, did you find anything about my brother, Yihin? I'm sorry, May. Nothing new. So who's your beefy friend? Who? Oh, Roy, how did you get here? Hans, is it? You make a living finding people? Among other things. Nothing that Hans the hacker can't track down for you. Do you look for any info on the woman in this picture? Her name's Karen Muir. Anything's fine, whether she's alive or dead, anything. Sure thing, and the first time's free for a friend of May's. Heh, <laughs> I knew you hadn't given up on Karen. What happened to your brother, May? Oh, he had, he kind of ran away from home a couple of years ago. I heard t talk that he might be on Huffman, so... I hope you find him. I hope you find Karen, too. Ah. Can we do something now? I want to go kill stuff. Vacation's over. The army's on the move to push the statesmen back across the border. They need all the help they can dig up, even for mercs like, even for mercs like you. Uh, sir, what am I doing? What? Oh, right. This is Pee Wee Richburg Jr. <sighs> That's really his name. He's a supply truck driver and the newest member of the Canyon Crows. Treat him like one. Him? But why? He tried to desert, he tried to desert after his last battle, but got caught by the MPs. I managed to get him out of a court martial on the condition that he joined us. He's a good driver and has a knack for dodging 80 millimeter bullets with a 50 ton truck. <laughs> Hi, everyone. His truck will carry supplies and all the gear in the squad stock. You can repair, reload ammo, and charge loadouts, change loadouts if you stop by the truck during battle. Remember to keep the truck away from any fighting. It may be tougher than regular rigs, but it's still a truck. All right, crows, get ready and move out. Your primary objective is to knock out all the mobile AA missile batteries surrounding Freedom City. Pee Wee has joined your squad. Here's the mission intel. A box. Got it. Okay, it doesn't really tell me much. Air Force bombers will pass over this zone in a few minutes. Their targets are the UCS forces entrenched in Freedom City. Your mission is to clear the path of all surface-to-air missile batteries. Time is of the essence. Begin mission. Now! Isn't this cutting it a little too close? How come we didn't take out those SAMs beforehand, huh? If we did it too early, we'd be telegraphing the bombing path to the enemy. I get nine units, but I only have, I only have seven. Means I could have had more? <laughs> Ten turns until a bomber raid. All right, so I gotta beat this game. I gotta beat this level in ten turns or less. And
That's a weird movement. <laughs> Get rimmed by Krim. <laughs> Fifteen damage. That, God damn it! You figured it out. nice. Glad you figured it out. Get boned. Get pinched. Get boned. I know they made this. Haven't played Front Mission since Front Mission Three on the PS One. Yeah, Eric, this is uh, this is the remake of Front Mission One, or Front Mission First. I assume it's the first one. <laughs> I haven't played any of these before. Also, hi. Seven tile tall buildings, and maybe ten tile sized roofs. Hey, hey good. That works. If you like it, then that's good. I never, hardly ever liked my designs. Hit me while I hit you back. Watch this. A pooch! Is it over? Okay. Sounds good. God damn it. How do you miss with a grenade? Very easily, apparently. Oh, no ammo, no weapons for you. Probably dance when your character will be seen. Pimchi! His left side's gone.
becomes Crimson Knight form. Oh, actually lost a couple of limbs there. That didn't happen in a while. Actually, that's never happened. <laughs> oh god, I'm really starting to hate that weapon. Yeah, you saw me it. Now we're thinning them out. Yep, it does that. My, uh, the bot that that uh, that cuts them off it does it pretty well. I didn't even know it was that that it even did that, but I'm glad it does it. So she leveled up even though she missed. He doesn't have a lot of stats. He's got dodging and that's it. We need to get to those, uh, I need to start sending somebody toward those, um, Sam, Sam, uh, trucks. Damn, one shot fucked him up. Pretty sure he hadn't been hit yet. That dude has got some resilience, or I'm just hitting, I'm unfortunately hitting the spots that he's uh, still got life with. Okay, good.
His body is ne the the body parts are his body is nearly gone. I think I'm not the only one who can't aim a grenade launcher, apparently. God damn it, I really need you guys to not miss. He has 7 HP. 7 HP, how do you miss? I really didn't need you to miss. Punch him. Go for a body part or arms. Don't go for the legs. Oh my god, go for the legs. <laughs> ah, come on. <laughs> go for a part that's already dead so you can kill him. I just think all parts have to be I don't actually don't actually know what the what that how that works. Everybody be paying that close attention. Only the body uh, has to hit z body or legs have to hit zero. I'm betting. I guess, the, I guess the body that's the critical part. Oh no! Lost my first vehicle. Is, there, is Frederick dead too? Yeesh! I have one HP! <laughs> Keith has one HP on his. Oh, that's not right. Oh, he still got one HP on his body. <laughs> oh man. His arms are out. It's pretty sure one of those missiles had to kill him. Of course, they could have both missed, and there would have been a problem. got one HP on the body. Just punch him. Oh, 
Nice. Yeah, he's dead. I get closer to those Sam trucks. Face at the body. Damn. Fucking hell, Natalie. Why are you missing? Legs are gone. That, that's good. Fuck. I lost three mechs on this mission. I might have to redo this anyway because we may run out. Of, we may run out of time. Supply. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm going to destroy these two trucks before the timer runs out. Got one. Within range. Ah, second one missed. Mission failed. And you know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna do that again. Do it right. <laughs> uh, 
I also lost way too many mechs there. So I know not to get trapped in, in trying to go this way, because that doesn't work. I've got to go around this way. They're going to try to block me from getting to these two over here. Out his legs. Might as well attack while I'm here. Get boned! Take my bone missiles! Punch him back. Or just whiff, you know, whatever feels good for you.
Well, that was poor. One missile, one Sam site down. I mean, the, the Sam site destroyed uh, sound clip from Command and Conquer. He's pretty beat up. He won't last much longer. Good body shot. Uh, body shot. They're trying the best to block me out, aren't they? Come on, why didn't he go for the body? Ah. if I can get around behind. Should kill him as long as you get a body shot. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and just clear one of these guys out. Should have been a kill. But I didn't go for the body. Of course. Oh, lost a Tonfa.
Nice. He did that help. attack range of that. Shoot that. So it's 20 damage and it went for, didn't go for the body. beat up pretty bad. Can't get by him with him there. Ooh, good damage to the body. can't even he can't even attack any because he has no arms and all oh, he's got his shoulder weapons which you're probably also gone Launcher down, one to go. Try to corner him. Get a body shot. Come get a body shot. Ah. Damage she's taken. Ooh, almost one shot at that guy. Uh, that guy. Ooh, got real lucky there.
I should kill him. Item. Body, most of all, so we don't lose the bot or lose that mech. Kill okay. him. Oh, damn it, I didn't need the miss. Finish him off. What? Oh my god. That wasn't a, wasn't a kill shot. Now he can't he can't respond. And of course both those hit. Please get a body shot, don't waste it on an armpit. Thank you. Just can't reach it. Thank you for getting the body. All he can do is just run. He can't do anything. At least he leveled up. Should have had her heal because her body her body damage is pretty extreme. Body. Okay, good. Looks like I got me close enough, right? Oh, it doesn't. Just run. 
<laughs> just, just run. <laughs> Thank you. I needed a body shot. <laughs> Hang in there, Keith. <laughs> Hang in there just a little longer. <laughs> no! May! No! Damn it! All the Sam sites, right? Yeah. Okay. Keep hanging in there. <laughs> Please get a body shot. Okay, well, it wasn't a kill shot, but it'll work. Finish him. Boosh! 102 experience, nice. Good, body shot, nice. He's just limping away the best he can. <laughs> Surely a repair, uh, repair item isn't going to heal that. It's going to heal destroyed items, right? Destroyed parts, right? Bombers go by safely. We're not getting any medals for this, are we? They focus. We're not done here yet. Yeah, this is overkill.
<laughs> Run! <laughs> Run if you can! <laughs> Unable to repair because they're destroyed. Okay. Kind of what I figured, but I wanted to be sure. But poor Keith just just, just taking a beating. He's, he's literally just a just a punching bag right now. He can't do anything. They should kill him. Well, of course it didn't, because there was like one one HP left on his leg. That's what I hit, because reasons. Trying his damnedest to get away, and that one dude just won't leave him alone. Okay, he survived. At least somebody get close enough to actually attack him. Attack that last dude. Come on. Please don't somebody get close enough to actually attack him. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, he went after somebody that can't that can fight back. Good. <laughs> I thought he was going to go after Keith again. He's like, oh, come on, that dude's, that dude's in an aluminum can right now. Leave him alone. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Finish him, Ryuji. Thank you. <laughs> and, okay, nice. All hostiles eliminated. We should complete. That went rough. That went rough. Ouch. <laughs> okay, so the units that get destroyed to get re I don't lose. They get repaired and it just costs me the money. Okay. That's good to know. Freedom of Liberation forced to HQ. Where's our backup? We need backup. Ah! My truck, my mech's spontaneously combusted. It's no use. We can get past their armor. Gah! <laughs> We've lost. Ah! <laughs> the OCU troops 
They're all dead. Hostiles at 12 o'clock. Those wanzers. It's the UCS 64th. 64th? What's that? Have you ever heard of them? It's the UCS's cream of the crop. Hell's Wall. Oh, that's why they're red. Ugh, fresh meat. That gaggle seriously thinks they can get past us alive? We'll take care of them. All right, boys, listen up. Rebus and Milligan flight flank. Dave and Geta left. Me and Josh are bait. Move! Gotcha, boss. No one gets past Hell's Wall. You're going down. Pee break, be right back. It's time for Commander Krim's Video Gaming Trivia. Type your answers in the chat. The correct response will be revealed in 30 seconds. Player moves through front gate just after entering gate closes shut. If player tries to go back. Player character says gates closed and move it around. Step back. How would you do that? Um, have the gates be um, set to player touch, and when the player touches the gate, uh, you'll get the dialogue box that uh, says the gates are locked, and then movement route step whatever direction away from the gate. If, if you if you moved in from the south. And the gates are south of the character, and the character moves down. Uh, set the uh, movement route to move up one square. It's just that simple. Or, you know, or you could use, like you said, step back. You could use a direction fix, but it would just be. I would just use a uh, straight up. Uh, just move up one step. Getting the gates closed after he enters. Um, use depending on what you're using for the gate uh, sprite, the gate, the actual gate itself. Um, use a switch to have the second in the second tab of that switch or that uh, second tab of that event using that switch turned on, uh, revealing the closed gate image. Does that make sense? You have your you have your you have your gates as a, as events, and then have a switch set in your in your event that moves the character into the gate. That when turned on, changes the animation from an open gate to a closed gate. The second tab should be the closed gate animation. Yeah, I need to find more, find more guys because apparently, seven of nine. I could have two more people in here. Which would have been nice. You got it. Okay. All right. So we got two guys over there. 
four guys over there, four guys over there. So there's only there's only two over here. No, there's four over here. Okay, all right. Hmm. I'm trying to decide if I just want to do like a sweep. Move everybody to the right and just sweep across the field. Or if I want to split my troops up to take them on. I think I want to do like a sweep. So I think I want to move to the right first. Keep everybody in like a nice tight formation. So multiple targets could hit the, uh, or multiple guys with the same target. So far, as, far as, as I'm aware, as far as I'm aware, there's not like any AOE attacks in this game yet. So I don't worry about the, keeping them in a tight group and them all getting hit with like a, a grenade or something. Your kitty kitty, I'll take care of you. Get e gridded. Bam, got a couple of good body shots there. Get boned. Six damage. What kind of stupid armor they got on there. Don't let them surround you. Can't hit that one? Why can't I hit that one? Too close? This is what the 64th is all about. I didn't do a lot of damage. Like one of them did literally zero. Got him. What? They got through my armor. No! That's because I'm awesome.
Right, everybody? Crickets, crickets. Get rid of the uh, Hell's Angels, or whatever the hell they were called. The crim is awesome. <laughs> well, thank you. That's not what I wanted to do. not to miss. Luckily the uh, Hells Angels guys are standing in one place. It's only the little brown dudes that are approaching. Whatever those shoulder mounted rocket launchers are, they are very useless against my armor. Next remind me of those huge tank mechs from Terminator 2, just colorful. Yeah, they they're they're more tanky because they have tank treads on them, but they usually but they had better armor, that's why I went with it. Man, that guy's more armored than the first one. He lost his right arm. Oh, I got that was a decent hit. did it again because reasons And they're not carrying any uh, any hand weapons. They're only using the shoulder-mounted rockets. Really, she's got 1,200 melee and she still swung and missed. There we go, there we go, that was really good damage. 
Oh no, I was deaded. You got another egret rocket launcher, nice. The egrets are actually a pretty good rocket launcher. Alright, time to thin out the uh time to thin the herd. Like that. Boom, baby. No wonder you were nearly dead in the last mission. You can't hit shit, apparently. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> what the shit? There we go. Thank you, counterattack. You want to hit me too? All right. Counterattack. Level up, nice. Aim at selected wands or parts. Oh, shit! That would be awesome! I'm a target body every time! There's probably like a severe, uh, severe penalty for that skill, though. Like, per percentage of hitting that target is reduced. Nice mutual miss. Appreciate that. That one's down. I can change my weapons from him. Wow. Okay. Zero, zero, miss.
Ooh, if that had only been a body shot, that would have killed him. Let's try this just to see if it's a little more accurate. <laughs> Let's just see if this gun's a little more accurate. Miss! Just whizz right on by. Let's move over here. Uh, yeah, move here because we can re we can move the these guys around to resupply them. In fact, we can only, well once we finish these three off, we'll do a full resupply before we take on the next group. That's how this works. Nailed it. Alright, everybody needs that skill. Like, badly needs that skill. Yeah, that's gonna, it's literally, that's all, they sent all the, their bronze units toward me, or brown, or yellow units, whatever. The red guys didn't bother attacking. So I've got plenty of time to uh, restock, resupply. <laughs> One missile is all I needed to hit. <laughs> <laughs> when your treads don't work, you just squeak. Four of them resupplied, right? 
Yeah, so we'll just move you here. Everybody should be re, uh, resupplied. <clears throat> now we're ready to move. You just guys just hang over there and chill. I'll be there in a minute. Poor fence. It just didn't stand a chance. Oh, here they come. They spotted me. Probably should have gone with a more, uh, more easterly path and wound around. Now I gotta face all four of them at once. That's okay. I'll make it work. That dude, that dude guarded and the, the, those missiles did nothing. That's not reassuring. Take a bit. Don't take a bit. They're resilient. <clears throat> I'll break your Squash you like a bug. Dead. They they broke through our defenses. Thank you. 
<laughs> One damage. <laughs> I am really uh, penetrating that armor. Maximum penetratage. One little damage. <laughs> Can get some. Oh my god. A punch for 24 damage to the body. Oh. oh my god, come on guys, stop missing, please. I really, really need you to not miss right now. I need every I need every bit of damage I can deliver. That dude must have a hell of a, a dodge stat. B-I-M-O, 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 oh and Bimo is her name -o. Hi, Bimo. Welcome in. Happy Sunday. Hope you're doing good.
Now we're wearing him down. get a body shot and kill him. Damn it. Hey, well, we're sh we're shredding Geta a little bit. I'm doing good. How about yourself? All right, short out his legs. We need more body shots, though. There we go. Oh, how arg! Okay. supply. Ooh, that's a little too close. Please miss. Please miss. Nope. Well, at least we hit it. <laughs> What you doing, BMO? Okay, they both missed. Probably should have healed Natalie. That would have been the smart thing to do. Should be resupplied. Why can't she target?
Oh, you want me, huh? All right. Punch you right in the mouth. We're hitting it. Barely, but we're hitting it. No more right arm for you. To, didn't mean to guard there, but okay. There we go. Punch him again. Punch him again. <laughs> would you like to play something and what would you like to play almost got him shot. Frig. I forgot he was cha uh, he was chaffed. Oh, he's got no arms left. He's pretty much disabled for the rest of the fight. How could they beat me? <laughs> With a lot of punches and very, very carefully. Would not have wanted to do this fight on hard difficulty. No way. There we go. It's over. Yeah, that was pretty crazy, though. Can we go back to town now? I'm getting hungry. Yeah, sure. We need to repair anyhow. Well, 
Not too bad. Well, let's see. We can do more Borderlands. I've already... Hmm. <sighs> We've done all I really care about for first uh, first ascendant, at least for now. Okay, I still got to think about. I still got to pick something. Those are very different machines over there. There's one that's like a four-legged crab. The liberation of Freedom City is nearly complete. But your job's not done yet. You're to pursue and eliminate retreating enemy force units towards the city. Just burn them all, huh? Won't be that easy. Mobile weapon detected. It's a Clinton type. Clinton. Yeah, it's a spider. <laughs> I see this big sack of coins for me. I probably... Should have gone and Probably not any new, any new parts or anything I can put on. But I probably have enough money that I can get everybody else updated. Like she's missing a rocket launcher uh, pod. I just want to get rid of that freaking grenade launcher. Pissing me off. Let's see what a flamethrower can do. Bazooka, huh? Rocket launcher, huh? Okay. Alright, I'll bite.
crit. crit. That's why. She had the wrong body on, so she couldn't handle the weight. So now everybody should be the same. Okay, cool. Sell all the crap that I'm not using. Before I sell that frost. It's a frost arm. Okay, it's just called Frost, and I need something. Attack at 32, hit 80. And that Frost arm was not available in the shop, right? baby oh oh man that is that looks dangerous <laughs> oh baby that looks dangerous oh Whew. it's not up there though okay the frost isn't up there but that's slightly better what about the legs that looked really weird. <laughs> Whoa! Ho -ho! That's a pretty good stat boost, too. Get a pair of those.
nice. Very nice. All right. I actually like how that turned out. Probably could have done a little bit more adjustments, but I'll, I'll call that. Okay. All right. Let me... Uh, what we're going to do real quick is I'm going to take a short food break. Um, so I'm going to end the stream here while I eat and then come back and we will do another episode of Cream and Friends featuring Bimo Kimono in something. I'll talk to her and decide. <laughs> so yeah, I'll be back in a little bit. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back in a little bit. Bye.